in 2015, I performed a site-specific performance installation in a underground bunker space in Shanghai um, based on an earlier trip to Guilin, China, um, where I encountered a, um, a limestone cave water prison. Um, these prisons were naturally, well, they were, they were ditches actually in the, in the caves, um, in the stone created by the natural tides of the river. Um, some days there'd be low tide, some days high tide. And over, over time, um, created these deep welts in these in these massive um, stone caves, um, and they were used as water prisons. They were used as prisons to leave one to wait for their drowning um, and to their death, basically. Um, so yeah, I mean it's <laughs> um, it's pretty intense, but I. Um, Never heard of anything like it before, and I guess it struck a chord deep inside me um, enough to want to um, do this performance that basically entails me marking the walls at my height of this bunker space um, in sort of a meditative state um, using an ink stick um, that is also water soluble and um, um, the marks of my of my existence or my death, my mortality, um, will also eventually wash away. I guess it um, yeah. like going backwards um, for me, and the Chinese ink stick is a tool that I grew up using. Um, my first lessons were in Chinese calligraphy and painting, it's, it's always with the use of a brush to apply the ink onto the paper. But the ink stick, while also um, a folk art within itself, is never, is, is used to only, to only um, make ink for the brush. And so for me to use it directly on the wall was sort of kind of breaking the rules. The ink stick is no longer an ink stick, like I kind of turned into something wow. else. It's, it, these works started um, with ink panties, and the idea of making uh, panties with this textile, this ink textile, was really cool because the whole idea is that um, panties are really intimate articles of clothing. They're very close to you, and um, so intimate that they're almost like more aware of who you are than you than you are for yourself. Um, and so, in, in a sense, using ink to sort sort of um, make these articles of clothing that sort of um, for me, it was very, um, was very kind of provocative, and you know, it's, and also because they can change, they can, they can, they can, they can turn if they get wet or too steamy or sweaty, you know. So I love that idea of um, these ink panties being able to like sort of liquefy. I was inspired a lot by um, these ideas of beauty and you know these definitions of femininity and how um, working with ink sort of talks about. Um, how that definition is constantly changing and um, never um, quite defined finitely. And so the ink really helped express this idea. And so the idea of these, so all these, all these panties here are made um, with, with, my, with my material and um, can turn if submerged in water. And I sort of thought it would be really funny. Well, also, I'm re I was really um, uh, inspired by the checkers and and started to play around with the idea of art history and, art and, and different definitions of beauty and kind of went to Italy because, um, because of, of, of like the vast history there um, uh, and, and, and brought in the um, Chinese uh, finger trap which is an American toy that, um, that makes absolutely no sense but something everybody sort of grew up with of a certain generation and um, used it uh, to continue the motif and the playfulness of these works. Um, and basically, Rodgazza Moderna in Italian means modern girl. Why these pieces took so long to make is because I wanted to use rice paper 
um, and play off the, the, the kind of the, the traditional use of Chinese ink. Um, the rice paper is very fragile, it's also handmade, and um, it, it also reacts to water um, very quickly. And so while, um, so I used water actually to, to um, attach the panties to the paper. Um, and so over time, there's some tearing and some, um, some seizing, I guess, in cold temperatures. There was some shrinkage. Uh, so there was some, um, some, some, some of the paper has peeled. And, um, and I guess kind of why I love this, this these works so much is because, um, you know, having to work with them and take care of them and repair them, um, you know, to feel like it really speaks to um, the material and to the whole um, motivation of uh, why I was drawn to this material in the first place.